Welcome to Devil's Post Pile, and thank you for joining us on a walk through the monument today. We will be exploring four different locations where we will talk about the natural forces that have shaped this landscape. The middle fork of the San Joaquin River runs through the monument, providing food and shelter for many different animals. The river usually floods the meadow annually, which allows grasses and shrubs to thrive and keep encroaching trees at bay. Let's keep moving and see what else is happening along the meadow's edge. Here at the banks of the San Joaquin River, you can see the orange-colored soda springs. These cold water springs give the meadow its name and are one of many pieces of evidence of the volcanic activity in this area. This isn't the only area where we see evidence of volcanic activity. At our next stop, we'll see the Devil's Post Pile, born of volcanism and shaped by the glaciers. Welcome to Devil's Post Pile. 82,000 years ago, lava flowed through the valley and pooled to a depth of 400 feet. As the lava cooled, it cracked into 120 degree angles, which joined together to create the hexagonal columns we see today. Glaciers also swept down the valley and are responsible for carving away the top 300 plus feet of the post pile, leaving behind glacially polished columns, which we'll see from up top. Here we can see the amazing work the glaciers did to smooth the columns, as well as the amazing work that people did to protect this special place. Many people were inspired by this view, looking back to the meadow, across to Granite Dome, and down the valley. This led to the concern and preservation of the post pile, culminating in the creation of the National Monument in 1911. Devil's Post Pile is a place where the wonders of nature continue to amaze and inspire future generations.